Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a while, but today we are finally going to work back on the budget build RSX. I am super excited that today on the budget build, we are going to be working on suspension. And before we get into what suspension we bought for the RSX, let me show you why we haven't been making any content with the RSX. Now, let me start off with this. Before I give you guys the tea on what happened to the RSX, I have never been, and I feel like we're, we, we can all relate to this. I've never been the person to tell someone like, don't buy this car part because it's cheap or because the brand is shitty. Like I've always been one of those people where it's like, if this is what you can afford right now, then get it until you can afford something better. But maybe <laughs> that's not such a good thing because of what happened to the RSX. And this has really changed my outlook on a lot of things. So sometimes it's better to just save up a little bit more money and get the affordable stuff so your life isn't in danger. But let me show you guys what happened to the RSX and then we'll get into the T. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bruh. And as you guys can see, the coil over completely snapped on the RSX. And let me tell you guys, this was definitely top three scariest moments of my life. But as you guys can see, the RSX came with these Godspeed RS coils. Um, I've never been a fan of Godspeed to begin with, but this definitely proved to me that, man, I should never ever get Godspeed coils. Um, and basically what happened, um, driving on the freeway, wasn't going fast wasn't doing anything crazy. I literally came back from picking up the fenders for the 240 um, I was probably going like 72 miles an hour Literally hit like a little speed like bump or whatever on the freeway and when it went up um, These these coils are pretty stiff kind of like launched the car up a little bit when I landed the steering wheel just like I felt the snap immediately and the steering wheel turned all the way to the left and uh, and I kind of swerved into the traffic and I like went off to the side of the freeway um, and I checked everything and at that point um everything was still in contact so i was like oh shit like maybe something like i thought it was like maybe i don't, I don't even know maybe like a tie rod or i don't know i thought it was something else i never expected a coil um so i was like huh maybe i shouldn't drive on the freeway anymore let me like just drive home like normal we jacked up the car and bam wheel flies to the side and we're like dude the coil snapped and that was just from going 70 on the freeway like imagine if i was like really going fast or if i was like trying to race someone like dude it could have ended horribly so this is why <laughs> maybe you should save up a little bit more money and get some more reliable um parts for your car that are important and i always say the important things to your car suspension coilovers brakes um things of that sort where if they fail your life is possibly in danger um you should definitely save up and get better quality parts let me show you what i personal think personally think is the best coil over best bang for your buck basically um and i think it is bc racing coil overs um literally we picked these up brand new for 900 bucks brand spanking new 900 buck coilovers um and i think that's the best bang for your buck not only that we went with the extreme lows so i can literally slam the rsx to the floor in these coils but let's unbox this and uh shout out bc uh for sending me this shout out fred i appreciate you so much for making this happen um super excited let's let's unbox this to throw the front on um, and then from there I will probably put the car inside of the garage and jack and then finish the rest of the install in there because this is kind of sketchy out here on this weird little incline <laughs> Thank you. 
Guys, I don't know how many times I can tell you guys, please do not buy crap when it comes to parts. Even if you're building a budget car, to save up a little bit more money and get some just better quality parts than to just cheap out on something that's like not good at all. And then you're gonna end up paying like quadruple the amount. This is what the final outcome looks like. And that honestly isn't bad at all. I know I can go lower, I can even remove uh, one of the rings and I, if I wanted to and drop it, but this actually looks really, really good. I still need to adjust the camber on this, but I wanna show you guys really quickly the difference between Godspeed and these BC coils. These Godspeed coils are lowered all the way as well, and there is still that pretty nice looking little gap right there. I could put a finger in, um, with the God speeds lowered all the way. This is BC lowered all the way, extreme lows, can't fit anything in there. So this actually looks really, really well. We finally finished the front set of coilovers and <laughs> I can't believe the, the RSX is actually running again, guys. It's super exciting, but now, oh crap. Now we have to do the rear of the RSX and this is where things aren't gonna get tricky, but it's gonna get annoying. So if you guys are ever gonna do coilovers on the RSX, just prepare to do all of this to basically install the coil. So first thing is first, you have to empty out the trunk. So I'm gonna get all of that crap out of here. I'm gonna, I still have the 240 fenders in here from when <laughs> the coils exploded. Um, so I need to get those out, but basically you're gonna get rid of everything from in here and then you're gonna have to remove a couple tabs from in here, remove a couple tabs from this side, and you're basically gonna get this part of the interior popped out, and then that's gonna let you reach the coils from the inside. And then from the outside, <clears throat> you're going to have to get the nut and bolt that are back here for sure. I'm not 100% sure if we have to remove this nut and bolt, but I will let you guys know as soon as I basically start working on everything back here. See, there's your coil over basically right there. Um, it's not as annoying as I thought it was gonna be. It's just a couple little clips you clip off right there. You basically get all the carpet, push it forward, and then you just unclip this little area. Um, this side as well, as you guys can see, the coil is right there, and you basically just remove those two bolts. Um, well, those two nuts off the bolt, and then your coil should drop down. So back here, not that complicated, just really annoying more than anything to be honest with you guys. Alrighty, update time on everything. So I finally got this rear coil over off. And to be honest, I saw a couple videos, people were saying you have to take this off, you have to take a couple bolts off there off. You literally don't have to take any of that off. Just take this bolt off down here which is this one, it honestly is annoying as hell to get off, but once you get that off, you take the two nuts off the top, like I told you guys to, it literally just slides right out, and then you just slide the new coil back in, and you are basically done. At last, we are finished with the BC Coils install. I'm super excited to actually finish everything tomorrow by putting the wheel on. I'm not gonna put the wheel on just yet because I saw that my exhaust, I actually was missing one bolt, so I'm gonna just go to Ace Hardware tomorrow, buy another bolt and tighten down correctly to make sure I'm not gonna lose the exhaust at any point because that would be a no-no. Um, I'm also gonna tell you guys, before you put everything back together, do not forget to tighten your collars. Good morning, guys, welcome back to the vlog. Okay, the exhaust is on, the wheels are all on, and I already dropped the car, it's off the jack stands, and guys, this looks really, really, really good. I am so excited with how the RSX looks on these BC Extreme Low Coils. Just remember the front, I dropped them as much as I could without removing any of the collars. And the rears, I left about like half a centimeter um, in between each, uh, each coil without lowering it all the way. I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh my god, 
Look at the front. The front no longer has any finger gap. That looks really, really, really good. And look at the rear. I don't know if you guys remember, there was like a finger and a half gap in the rear. Sheesh. That finger and a half gap is gone. Honestly, I could have lowered this all the way, but I feel like this is just good fitment for the RSX without having to worry about really damaging the quarter panel or anything like that. I think this just looks really good. And then once we add the little uh, body kit to it, it'll look really, 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 really good. We'll pull it out into the sun right now so I could do a walk around. But honestly, guys, 900 bucks. Make sure you guys hit up Fred. Fred, thank you so much. I appreciate you uh, for making this happen with BC Coils. But yeah, guys, honestly, I'm gonna say for the amount that I paid, 900 bucks, BC Coils, Extreme Lows, really the way to go. You can get Megas in these other coils, like I said, but I don't know if the drop will be the same. And I really, really, really like this. However, we need to take the card to get realigned because that alignment is off pretty bad. I could tell that the, the toe is off in the rear. So I think that's what we will do next on this RSX. But for right now, this looks so, so good. So good. Now, let's get down to the important business. As you guys remember, the RSX is a budget build with a budget of $5,000. Last time we made a vlog, we had spent $1,499 so far on the RSX with the coilovers that were $900 Plus, I ended up buying the tie rod and links because they just look super suspicious. We ended up spending a total of $948, which brings the grand total up to $2,477 we have spent on the RSX. And I won't lie, for the amount that we've actually done to the RSX, and we've only spent 2,400 bucks, that's not bad, but we are halfway through our limit on the RSX budget build. We have $2,553 left, which I honestly believe we are cruising to actually complete a show worthy car for under $5,000. I really think we can hit under 5K with this build. But as always, I wish you guys nothing but positivity and good energy. Till next time, peace.